The new and major promise from President Trump involving taxes. And it comes as the president, who once made big promises while on the campaign trail about his first 100 days, is now criticizing that benchmark. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. President Trump was greeted with cheers as he walked into the Treasury Department today. He was there to sign yet another executive order designed to cut regulations. But he also dropped this surprise. And we'll be having a big announcement on Wednesday having to do with tax reform. The president tells AP he will propose a massive tax cut, adding that he believes it will be bigger than any tax cut ever. This comes as the president nears a key milestone, his first 100 days in office. During the campaign, he made big promises about those first 100 days. Just think about what we can accomplish in the first 100 days. It's a set of promises for what I'll do in my first 100 days. My reform plan will lift millions out of poverty, raise wages dramatically, and create at least 25 million new jobs in 10 years. And we can enact the whole plan in our first 100 days, and we will. There have been accomplishments. He slashed regulations, and he has a Supreme Court justice confirmed. But this president hasn't managed to get Congress to pass any major bill yet. His effort to pass health care earlier this month failed. His big travel ban has been blocked by the courts, and there's still no movement on that border wall. Now Trump is downplaying the 100-day marker, today tweeting about what he called the ridiculous standard of the first 100 days. This White House isn't going to be pressured by artificial deadlines. Still, Trump clearly has his eye on the calendar. No administration has accomplished more in the first 90 days. And in this final week, he's trying to put points on the board. Not only is he promising to release a plan for that big tax cut, impacting both individuals and businesses, the White House is also trying to revive health care. Senior administration officials say they believe a revised bill could even pass the House as early as next week. Happening. Thank you, folks. You think you're going to get a health care vote next week? I don't know. It doesn't matter if it's next week. Next week doesn't matter. All right, John Carl with us live again tonight at the White House. John, health care and tax reform both on President Trump's agenda next week, but he's also facing the prospect of a government shutdown that could happen on his 100th day. Government funding does indeed run out a week from tomorrow on April 29th. Now, senior officials I have spoken to here at the White House say they are confident they will pass a new funding bill before then. But, David, there are significant agreement, disagreements that remain, including whether or not to pay for that border wall and a new bill is not, not guaranteed before that shutdown would start. John Carl with us on a Friday night, John. Thanks.